Hi everyone, I'm Jenny with Show Me Cute and today I have a really cute bracelet idea for you. It is one that several of you have been asking about me doing something with safety pins and so I finally found a really cute idea that I wanted to share with you. So let's get started. Um, here's one that I've already done and that is what it looks like. You can't even tell they're safety pins. That's what I love about how cute this is. Okay, so what you need for this is safety pins, stretchy cord, um, I found these stretchy cords. I think all of these supplies can be found at Walmart and I'm pretty sure everybody inside the United States has Walmart. Um, you can pick which size safety pin you want. I have these little teeny tiny ones all the way up to big ones. If you go to the sewing section of Walmart is where you will find the biggest array of selection from gold or silver. I learned this nifty beading trick from my Native American friend. That is such a tongue twister, let me tell you. Um, so you need a little um, hand towel like this and just dump the beads on there. I'm gonna take my safety pin and I'm just going to, if you can see if we're really zoomed in good, and you just start loading them on like that. Ooh, okay. So I got as many as I can fit on there and then close it. And you can see that's what it'll turn out like. Okay. And I think when I counted, of course, you'll have to figure this out in the end for you, um, how wide your wrist is. I think I used about 80 safety pins for the one that I did. So once you have loaded all of your beads onto your bracelets like that, this is a perfect activity for doing in front of the TV. The next thing you're going to do is get your stretchy cord. Okay, I've taken my stretchy cord and a big fat needle here. This is where that collapsible needle that I showed you in some of the other jewelry um, videos comes in handy as well. Um, but this one will fit through my safety pin. So you're going to have to string two different strings onto your bracelet on two sides. And so you're just gonna start with one side at a time and you're gonna alternate your safety pin. So the, on this one, I strung the tail end and this one we're gonna do through that end. So as you can see, we're just going to alternate all the way through and that's how easy it is. We're gonna string both sides and tie them off in a knot and that is all there is to it. So let me finish stringing this one and I'll show you the end product. I'm all finished stringing and so now this is what you should look like. I flipped it over because this is uh, the bottom end and you can see the strings really well. I used white instead of black on this one and one thing I want to let you know I did try doing this with the clear stretchy cord and I didn't like that as well. It, ke it kept coming undone and it just didn't work as well. So. I recommend that you use either the black or the white um, stretchy cord that is more of a cotton, not a silicone material. And those were found in the craft section at Walmart. Now the last thing we're gonna do is tie these off in a square knot. You wanna pull them just a little bit tight so that you have, so that you're not too big. And then you can even tie an extra little loop on there as well. I'm gonna cut these off so I have just a little bit of an end like that. And just for extra safety measures, I'm gonna take a flame and I'm just gonna, ooh, don't start a fire. Whoopsie. Ooh, that has a smell. What's that smile? My daughter used to say that when she'd smell something. 
Okay, and I just cinched those off just a little bit so that they won't unravel and they just blend in with the bracelet a little bit. Be careful when you're using fire. I always, always wanna give that disclaimer. And that is our end result. And I'm just gonna slip that on and see how adorbs that is. You can make it looser, you can make it tighter, you can add them with a whole bunch of other bracelets. And I've seen some really cute examples on Pinterest where they mixed all different colors. And so be creative and definitely, definitely send me pictures on either Instagram or on um, Facebook or Twitter, letting me see what kind of bracelet you made. I would love to see what you come up with. Here's my cute little bracelets that I made. If you don't want to miss our next DIY, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching. See you next week. video dancing. I need to start Ellen. There Maybe you go. Should do some dancing before I have a video. <laughs> 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 Wayne, Wayne's World. Okay, I learned this nifty little trick from my Native, Native, Native American. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs>